Hello, 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 and very warm welcome to this week's podcast, where I would like to talk to you about need to have or nice to have. I I think about this a lot. So if you're saying, oh, I just need to fill in the blank, then you are dependent on that thing. Let me explain. So I hear a lot of people going, oh, I just need to go out for that run. I need to have a holiday. I need to have a clear space before I can work. I need my manager to give me praise. I need my husband to show me love. I need my children to behave. And the problem is when we need to have something, even if that something is good for us, we're dependent on it. And when you're dependent on something outside of you, you're very vulnerable. And you feel quite out of control because what then tends to happen is you try and control those things outside of you in order to create comfort, safety and acknowledgement inside of you. Versus a nice to have is when you've got your back, you've got your, um, you've got yourself and then someone gives you a compliment. That's a nice to have. When you're managing your mind and you're managing your emotions and you are able to overcome and process those, and I don't mean not fill them, I mean process them. I've spoke about this in other episodes. Then when you go out for the run, it's a nice to have. If you've figured out your time management and your days are calm and you're productive and you're efficient when you're at work, then the holiday is a nice to have, not a need to have. When you're acknowledging the amount of work that you do, when you put your head on the pillow at night and go, I did a fucking good job today. I really showed up and I gave it my all. When your manager acknowledges that, it's a nice to have. When you're loving you first, when you're giving yourself kindness and your self-compassion and you're creating safety within your body, when your partner recognizes that or says, I love you, it's a nice to have, not a need to have. Can you see the difference? Needing something is tense and dependable and out of control because it's outside of you. Versus nice to have is because you've got, you've got yourself. And of course, especially compliments, gifts, buying things, they have doing exercise, going on a holiday. I love going on holiday. I'm about to go on one. Um, Actually, by the time this comes out, I would probably be on holiday. I can't remember the time <laughs> I try and, you know, record my podcast in advance. But I'm having a holiday. And I don't need to have a holiday. I don't feel like I need to have a week off to relax. I, cre- I have learnt. I'm going to say that again. I have learnt how to bring relaxation and calmness into my everyday. So then the holiday is just lovely to do. It's not a need to do. And it's fascinating, isn't it? Because we all think, let's take the holiday as an example. We all think I need a holiday. I need a break. And I'm not saying you shouldn't take a break. 100% you should. But you can take breaks throughout your day. If you're managing your mind and managing your emotions, you, you take your breaks during the, during the day. Because the problem is with a holiday, you're still there. <laughs> and the work, the job, the family isn't the problem. The weather is not the problem. 
how you talk about the job, the family, the weather, that's the problem. And if you don't change how you talk about things, you're going to be talking that way when you're on holiday. And that holiday is a week or two weeks versus changing your dialogue and controlling your description of things is lifelong skill. It's permanent. So then the holiday is just nice to have, not a need to have. We see, I see this a lot with exercise. I see this a lot with exercise where people go, I just need to have my morning walk. As long as I have my morning walk, then my mind is set. And that's brilliant. If when you're out on your walk or your run or when you're doing your exercise, if in that time you are allowing your brain and your body to process and feel and work through scenarios and situations and actually allowing that emotion to flow through your body. So you're using that time to fully experience and feel your emotions then it will be beneficial. But if when you're doing your exercise, you're using it as a way of avoidance, that's going to have a negative effect on your health. Because there will come a point where you can no, you can no longer avoid that emotion. I um, had an initial conversation with someone yesterday They've always avoided anger. They were taught as a young adult to push it down, lock it in a box, process it later. That was 20 plus years ago. And lo and behold, now it's like a beach ball. When you push your emotions down, when you avoid them, you can hold it down for so long. But at some point, it's going to blow up. It's going to come whooshing up out the water. And Louise Hay says this in her, um, in her, in her, um, all of her books, all of her work. Your emotions, if you don't allow them to process and flow and release you, will become something physical within your body because that energy gets stuck. And just like water, when water gets stuck, it gets stagnant and it goes nasty and it goes toxic. The same is true with your emotions. If they're flowing through you and you're processing them without judgment and you're experiencing them without criticism and you're not making it mean something's gone wrong, that's a natural process. That is a natural, healthy flow. But the minute that you block it, the minute that you push it away or avoid it, it becomes toxic in your body. And you will know that you're doing this because you never quite feel peaceful. So if you're doing a workout and you're doing it to avoid your emotions, yes, you will have the endorphins temporarily of the exercise, but you never quite feel peaceful emotionally. And it's so much healthier to look at our emotions, to process our emotions, to let it flow through you. Then the exercises are nice to have. And I, I quite a lot of the time when I speak to new clients, they're like, oh yes, I, I, need, to, I need to do this work, Nikki. This, I, I need to do this in my life. And I'm like, no, you don't. You don't need to do anything. But you might want to do it. And it might be nice to do it. And it is a skill. It's a skill that requires, first of all, awareness. Where in your life are you saying, I need dot, dot, dot. I need the glass of wine to relax. I need the chocolate so that I don't feel bored. I need... I need, I need, whatever it is for you. The first step is to become aware and acknowledge that that's what's happening without judgment, 
without criticism. This is not another reason to beat yourself up. If you're saying, I need my husband to love me, I need my boss to show me appreciation, it's going to feel shit. You are going to feel shit. And if you're not giving yourself love and appreciation first, even if they did give you a compliment, you wouldn't acknowledge it anyway. Because you, it has to start within you. It has to start within you. So just do a little audit. Just look at how many times you're saying, I need dot, dot, dot. I need a holiday. I need the glass of wine. I need the chocolate. I need the crisps. I need the porn. I need to buy something to make me feel good. I need, um, I need to go for that run to clear my head. I need, I need, I need. So first of all, become aware and acknowledge it. Take a really deep breath. And then start to choose. Okay. What do I really want my boss to say to me? I would really love them to say, do you know what? You're doing a really good job, Nikki. You could choose to give yourself that appreciation. You don't need someone else to tell you. You could just choose that you're doing the best job you could possibly do. And I know that your bitchy brain is going to give you all the thoughts about that, but it's not true. What your brain, that bitchy part of your brain tells you is not fact. You know if you're doing a good job. You Like, take a breath, step away from that bitchy brain for a minute and just come into your higher wisdom and look at your life objectively and go, actually, is there more that I can do? And if there is, go and do it. Go and do it. If you're thinking I want to exercise more, but I need the weather to be good or whatever the excuse is, then go and honor yourself by following what you know you need to do. But if truly, truly, if I were to talk to you and question what you were saying to yourself, would I agree that you could do more? Would I agree with the bullshit in your head? And if I wouldn't agree, you have a choice. And start to give yourself that appreciation. Whatever you want your husband to say to you, start saying to yourself. Go back and listen to the podcast where I talk about learning how to process your emotions. No one teaches us how to do it. No one. No one ever teaches us where our emotions come from and how to process them. We all think that if we feel angry or we feel stressed, we're going to go down this hole and never come out of it again. And the opposite is true because when you avoid it, you go down into the hole and you never come out of it. But processing allows you to move through it and beyond it. So if you're, so do your little audit, take a nice deep breath and then choose to give yourself what you're trying to get externally. How can, I re- how can I feel relaxed without wine? And the way that you relax without wine is actually learning that the emotion that you're avoiding is not a problem. So learn how to process that emotion. And you can apply that for everything. So then when you get the compliment, when you go on the holiday, when you have the glass of wine, it's a nice to have, not a need to have. I really hope this helps you. And as always, if you have any questions or you want to talk to me about this further, please get in touch because this is what I do. I'm not perfect at it. The the goal is not to be perfect at this, but the goal is to be possibly, let's just start with 5% better than what you were yesterday. Have an amazing week and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.